Hello everyone! So today I will be demonstrating my illustration process with the Wacom Intuos Medium Drawing Tablet. My process begins with gathering reference and freehand sketching out my ideas. Currently, it's August, and I knew going into this that I wanted to commemorate the end of summertime. So I played around with a few ideas before eventually settling on a very lush, verdant, and floral composition that encapsulates that bittersweet feeling of the fleeting petals in the wind, the summer coming to a close, and looking onward to the next part of your life. Of course, I will be reviewing the Wacom Intuos throughout this video. I have been drawing digitally for about a decade now, and through all the radical changes in my technique, subject matter, stylistic development, this tablet has been the number one consistency. It's such a mainstay in my workflow, and at this point, I honestly treat it like my baby. <laughs> like, she is everything to me. And for a good reason, because like I said, I've had the same tablet for so many years and it's still as durable, reliable, and functional as when I first bought it. When it comes to illustration, I like to synthesize inspirations from a wide gamut of sources. For instance, I'll combine a color palette, a feeling from personal experience, and a wildcard design reference. In this case, I was really compelled by this Gucci perfume. I find that fashion and product design are treasure troves of inspiration for visual art, since it's kind of an adjacent field, still in the realm of design, but just divorced enough to generate fresh new ideas. For this reason, I love pulling from architecture, art history, music, graphic design, and above all, I love film. I grew up on Studio Ghibli, Miyazaki, Takahata. I'm still enamored with that flavor of magical realism and absurdism. And I try to incorporate a little bit of it in all my pieces. I did a lot of traveling this summer for the first time in a fat minute since the pandemic bulldozed straight through most of those plans. And this piece reflects how transient those brief pockets of leisure feel to me. It's like a rare flower that eludes containment. Right now, I am wrapping up the line art stage and moving into coloring. I think I'm perennially intrigued by the elegance and flow of a single line, and just how much it can convey with slight variations in its texture, quality, thickness. I'm really attracted to the line art of Chinese Song Dynasty Gong Bi Hua, as well as Japanese Ukiyo-e printmakers like Hokusai. The intricate calligraphic strokes are just gorgeous. More recently, I've been loving the French comic artist Mobius, as well as comic art in general, which tends to have a thicker line quality suited for mass printing. 
Line art will always be the process I return to because there's such a wellspring of emotion packed into every single decision, right down to the amount of pixels a line takes up. I've tried and loved screen tablets, which seems to be all the rage these days, but I think at this point I feel way too strong a sense of sentimentality towards my Wacom Intuos for it to not be the first tool in my toolbox. It's just so intuitive and easy to set up. It's also very portable, which as someone who's constantly moving around, I really appreciate. I just pop it in my backpack along with the connecting cord and a USB port, and I'm good to go. I also love how the pen feels. It glides so smoothly across the tablet face, and the strokes translate immaculately onto the laptop, as you can see right now. Now, I work in both the illustration and animation industries, meaning my day job is in animation, and I take on freelance editorial or product assignments like this one with Wacom in my spare time. So I'm really grateful for opportunities like this because my studio work leans so heavily on the needs of every individual production, and illustration is a way for me to express my own style and even take risks that I normally wouldn't be able to. One of my favorite artists, Iri Pan, said that good personal art is like comfort food, and this painting definitely felt like a warm homemade meal after a long day's work. I love using color to conjure emotion and fullness in my painting. I liberally use adjustment layers, filters, and gradient maps. To me, it's whatever gets the job done and achieves the mood I want, I will do it. So because of this, although I may have an idea in my mind's eye initially, I don't ever fully know what my piece will look like until the very end. And that element of surprise really forces me to trust the creative process and just let go. I think there's merit in relinquishing full control especially if you're an artist, letting the subconscious put one hand on the wheel instead of micromanaging every detail. In this case, I chose this vibrant red for the flowers as my centerpiece, and jumping off the principle of simultaneous contrast, I made sure to keep the background cooler and less saturated to really make sure that red pops. So now I'm wrapping up the details and this piece is about done. Thank you so much for following along and thank you to Wacom for this opportunity. This has been so much fun and I hope I've done justice to the capabilities of this amazing tablet.